Do you have a strange dark spot near your piercing? A gray or black piercing hole is usually caused by jewelry made with the wrong or temporary low quality metal that you're supposed to take out, not wear every day. Also can happen if you leave your nose ring in too long and don't clean it properly. Argeria is the correct name for this condition, which is caused by silver or compounds of silver. In today's video, we will talk about how to clean black marks on your piercings. But before starting this video, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future updates. The majority of the body jewelry that can be purchased online or at stores like Claire's is composed of alloys of a low quality. These metals oxidize and tarnish when they come into touch with body fluids such as sweat and the natural oils that are produced by your body. As a result, the skin in the area around a piercing frequently becomes discolored. The formation of the dark stain is due to an oxidation process. What metal to wear in a new piercing? Surgical Stainless Steel Surgical steel is often used for piercings because it is cheap, lasts a long time, and is safe for most people. It does have nickel in it, but because it doesn't move around much, your skin isn't likely to notice. Just keep in mind that not every piece of steel jewelry is the same quality. Only a few grades are bicompatible, which means that the jewelry won't tarnish, oxidize, or react with skin. Titanium Titanium is the best metal for first piercings because it is said to be the best choice for people with sensitive skin. 14 Karat Gold Gold is also safe for most people as long as it is 14 karat, nickel-free and compatible with the body. Niobium Niobium doesn't bother people with allergies and it's a lot like titanium but it's heavier and costs more than titanium. Platinum Platinum piercings are safe, but more expensive alternative to titanium piercings if you can afford them and can't find them. Platinum is a valuable metal, but it is hard to find body jewelry made from it because it is expensive and hard to work with. How to remove stains and tarnish from piercing holes? When you have a piercing, you are purposefully making an opening in the skin of a specific area of your body. Therefore, you must take care of a piercing in the same way that you would take care for a wound that you got accidentally to avoid an infection from growing. Soaking your fresh piercing in a solution made of saline or sea salt is one technique to ensure that it continues to heal properly. If you do this, it will help keep your wound clean and will speed up the healing process. Piercing professionals may recommend a sea salt soak to their clients as an aid in the healing process following a piercing. However, you need to be aware of the proper procedure in order to avoid the possibility of contracting an infection. Preparing for your sea salt soak When you hear the word soak, you might find yourself wondering how you're supposed to immerse particular body parts in the sea salt solution so that they can soak. You certainly have no problem visualizing yourself submerged in a bathtub in order to soak a genital or navel piercing. But what about a facial piercing? It might seem a little unusual or even impossible to try to wet your nose or your eyebrow, but you should give it a shot nevertheless. However, it is not necessary for you to submerge your head in a basin filled with salt water. Imagine a soothing warm compress. You can soak a sterile bandage or dressing in a sea salt solution and then drape your piercing over the dressing, which will allow the piercing to soak in the salty water. In the event that you are not up for a dip in the bathtub, you can even use this method for piercings in other parts of the body. Making a sea salt solution On the other hand, you could always try making your own. Before you get started, you should go out and purchase some sea salt, which is a type of salt that has belittled processed and comes from the evaporation of seawater. 
Sea salt is known to include trace elements such as potassium, magnesium, and zinc. A soothing soak in sea salt is something that a lot of people like to do, so they keep some on hand. Sea salt baths have been shown to help relieve tension and even assist ease the discomfort associated with rheumatic illnesses, according to a scientific assessment of previous studies. Instructions for conducting a sea salt soak In order to clean or soak your piercing, you can make a solution of sea salt by following these steps. A bowl or cup should have one cup of warm water poured into it. Use water that has been bottled or distilled. Add between 1 8 and 1 4 of a teaspoon of sea salt and then wait for it to dissolve before proceeding. Even while it may not look like a lot of salt, a more concentrated solution has a greater potential to irritate your piercing. Well, do you like what you're seeing so far? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep watching because you don't want to miss what we have at the number one spot. Which kind of metal won't cause the black mark? Both 316LVM and 316L are the only grades that are allowed. When you get your first piercing, the piercer will utilize this particular style of jewelry in the new hole. The usage of 316 VLM provides a marginal benefit in that it lessens the likelihood of small alloy inclusions that can result in discomfort. You have the option of purchasing jewelry made of surgical stainless steel either on our online store Yonida Ponini or by going to a local tattoo parlor or body piercer and purchasing it directly from them. What should be done if the black hole does not disappear even after having the jewelry appropriately cleaned? Treatment with a laser It's possible to spend a lot of money on it, but if you limit the region, it can be more inexpensive. Peeling with glycolic acid or a chemical solution Alpha hydroxy is a common treatment for skin problems including acne and wrinkles, but it also has the potential to improve the appearance of blemished skin. What should not be done? During the time when they are healing, piercings are susceptible to infection in the same way that cuts and wounds might be. There are some blunders you may make that might not seem that dangerous at first, but in reality they might cause you to get sick with an illness. Here are some things you should try to stay away from doing. Omitting to clean your hands before beginning something new. Before touching a new piercing, whether to clean it, soak it, or anything else, you should always properly wash your hands with soap and water. Longer than necessary in the water. Do not make the mistake of assuming that a lengthy amount of time is required just because the word soak is used. A 5-minute bath is more acceptable. The activity of swimming in the ocean. Your piercing is at risk of contracting a wide variety of infectious diseases if you expose it to non-septic environments such as the ocean because salt water is not sterile. In point of fact, the Legion Care Society issues a warning that drinking salt water contains various additional particles that have the potential to make an existing wound worse or open up new wounds. Cover your piercing with a bandage that is waterproof until it has completely healed before going swimming in the ocean or any other body of water, including a hot tub or swimming pool. Ignoring all of the early warning signs It's possible that you have developed a skin infection if you've seen some redness, discoloration, swelling or a pus-like discharge on your skin. As soon as you detect any of these problems, you need to make an appointment with a medical professional. So, that's it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Hit us up in the comments and let's chat! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for our channel so you never miss what's coming next from us.
Thanks for watching.